got the intercooler mounted up and so far I'm pretty much starting to work on putting up the turbo to the intercooler connection. So this is the one that came with the kit and then this came with the intercooler, the VRSF intercooler. And either one of them, I couldn't really get it to line up properly to where it's supposed to go. Especially since this uh, AC line's in the way. So I kind of like got some lines and I'm like having it tucked out the way a little bit to give me clearance. So I got enough clearance and it gave me an idea of using this the OEM cold side part that was on this side. So I'm pretty much started to take apart the hard part right here. And when I mocked it up, it fits, fits perfectly. So it brings it up to like right here. And all I got to do is like use this slide right here and cut and then go ahead and make a connection together. So once I have that connection made, then I can go ahead and take it apart, bring it to like a machine shop and have them like bend one that will fit perfectly for it. So it'll be all one solid piece. So yeah, I got everything tucked away. Over here, I have the boost solenoid. So it's mounted up and it's on these two holes right here, which is already a part of the car. I didn't have to make no new holes or anything. So it fit perfectly right here and route it pretty good. Uh, I have one right here going down to the wastegate down here and the other side running over here to this side. So this side is not completed yet because I have not put the reference point yet. So generally I like to put it on side the uh, turbo housing, but I think I might route it either running over here to the, what's it called? Over here by the intake side and or might even tap into it and put it inside of like this metal part right here. So tap a piece and just have it screwed into here. So I think this is the matter that I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So it'll come off right here on the charge pipe, not charge pipe, but that pipe going down to the intercooler. This is a flash only setup. I have the line running up to here and I'm just out the way. And then down here, I have the motive boost box chilling out right here. And I have a ground for it right here. But I think that's a bad ground because I think I might have to like find a new ground. So I'm gonna do is go ahead and use this one over here. So the main thing now is I just gotta go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rewrap this whole line right here with some heat protection sleeving and have it tucked up a little bit more with the covering over here in the back wrapping over it. So I mocked up the uh, downpipe also, and it fits pretty good. It runs all the way down, uh, not really touching anything. It routes pretty good, but underneath, let me bring it down there. Underneath, it looks like this. So it really doesn't line up. So it doesn't matter however you turn it, it's not gonna line up because these are going this way and then these are going that way. So there's no point of like mounting it up together. And it's also a little bit short on a distance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this right here and then mount th this end up to the exhaust and then bring it to an exhaust shop and get these parts measured out and fill in that section. So it'll just be like another weld right here and extend it and it fits perfectly. So I went ahead and rerouted the boost box ground from off of here and now it's over to here. So it's running down all the way down here and then the motive boost boxes on the neat here down at the bottom by the uh, DME so everything's routed pretty good it's wired up and have these connections they're loosely fitted right now and I have this mocked up right here because I still gotta adjust the downpipe but I have down here the connection so it's only this much room so I measured it out and yeah I just need about this much, actually about this much, but I just made this extra line to cut it here just in case I'm off. So I have room to like cut and adjust compared to if I just cut here and I actually needed more. So cut right here and then adjust for it later. But yeah, after that, I should have this piece in and the whole line should be good. So no boost leaks or anything like that. So I went ahead and lifted up the AC line a little bit. So I removed it off the whole thing. So now I have room now to go ahead and adjust it the way I want it to. So it's kind of exposed now, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is cut this in half. And this is what I use for the oil drain. So I'm gonna cut it in half. And actually, 
about this much. So I'm going to measure it up over to here to see how much line I need to cover and cut it in half and wrap it around it and then zip tie it down and then wrap this piece over it so it'll be completely protected over here on this side, especially to the all I heat. So that should do the job, but all in all, this is all mock-up and testing and then trial and error and start the car and see what happens. So yeah. <laughs> all right, so just went ahead and did a mock-up connection. And as you can see, it fits. So here's where it ends up right here. So I could put a clamp here, right here. It goes down to here and put a clamp here. And I marked it in the middle. So right here is where I'm gonna put the fit in to put the boost reference. So I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna have to drill and tap it. So I'm gonna take this apart again and uh, go ahead and make that tap. This is how the AC line is right now. So I have it down, I have it wrapped out and have the heat sleeve over it. So it's pretty much protecting it and I have this right here to pull it down, stay, like it stays down a bit. So I'm also gonna be making a custom line for the AC. So pretty much have it routed from back there, come all the way over to down here to the AC. So everything will be wrapped behind the engine. So I have it tapped right now. So it's just now to go ahead and put it back up and then you could go ahead and run the line from here to right here. So pretty much a short distance. So boost response when controlling on the tuning side should be a lot better. And especially if I run it all the way over there where it doesn't have give the boost still enough time to react. So I try to keep the lines as short as possible. Like even this line over here, I want to move it over a little bit more that side to get away from this wire but yeah I'm just trying to keep them as short as possible so here it is routed and yeah everything's secured right now so all I gotta do is just go ahead and tighten up the turbo keep it from swiveling and get it at an angle that I like for down here for clearance and then pretty much start messing with the exhaust so the, not exhaust but the downpipe so I can make sure everything fits up to the OEM exhaust so I'm also gonna take this whole harness off and like route them up a little bit, the wires, so it gets away from the heat. Cause it's kind of close right now. So it's not really touching, but yeah, just wanna get it out of the way. Up everything. So I wanna go ahead and mark where I need to trim. So I'm just gonna trim from here. So it gives room for the downpipe. So from here, all the way up to like right here. So I'm just gonna cut out like a little square and Cut right here so it'd be vented right here at the side so that the top of the engine cover could just go down and sit flush sorry so i got this part like trimmed up a bit and yeah you got to be cleaner but i'm gonna sign it down a bit and make it look smooth but went ahead wrapped the wires got a down pipe wrapped and it's all the way down to the ground covers on and yeah we all situated so that's the line right there wrapped up. Some heat treatment all the way back and over to the front. So yeah, looking pretty good. So I put the oil in and we're good to go ahead and uh, start the car.